walked out. Around 200 um, walked out of class for nearly two hours at Hillsborough High School, 30 to 40 showing their support for senior Lila Perry to use the girls' locker room during gym. There is a lot of ignorance. I don't, they are claiming that they're uncomfortable. I don't believe for a second they are. I think this is pure and simple bigotry. Lila Perry was born a boy, but says she identified as a woman since age 13. The, um, the law, the lawmakers in North Carolina passing a, a law saying that uh, we're not going to allow men in the women's bathroom. When that happened, right after that, a few days after it, last Thursday, as a matter of fact, Thursday evening, an edict came down, a royal decree came down from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue that all schools in this nation, what a leap, what a leap, all schools in this nation must open their doors and embrace the idea that a boy, if he thinks he's a boy one day and a girl the next day, if he thinks he's a girl that day, he has every right to go into the girl's bathroom. Lila says school officials have been very accommodating, understanding, and compliant with Title IX federal law. To solve the controversy, they offered her a private gender-neutral restroom. She turned it down. I wasn't hurting anyone, and I didn't want to feel segregated out. I didn't want to be in the gender-neutral bathroom. I wanted to be, I am a girl. I shouldn't have to be pushed away and just off to another bathroom. Some parents have asked if all this is an act by Lila to get in the girls' locker room. Now, you're going to be amazed at this editorial from the Charlotte Observer. This is remarkable, folks. I want you to buckle your seatbelts and listen to this. It's unbelievable. The Charlotte Observer, quote, school girls must get comfortable with male, and I'm not going to use the word here they have, just say male private parts in the bathrooms. This editorial in the Charlotte Observer says that schoolgirls must get comfortable. Now, are you listening to this, folks? This is coming from the Charlotte Observer, the Charlotte, North Carolina's biggest city in the state. Out of concern for her safety, Lila Perry has dropped her PE class, but told me that she will continue to use the girls' bathroom at Hillsborough High School. Live in Hillsborough, Russell Kinsall, News 4. At first glance, 12-year-old Hannah Reaney looks like any other sixth grader. She loves skateboarding and putting on makeup. She has good friends in school and even a boyfriend. Usually, I go over Noah's because um, you know, he's my boyfriend. But life has not always been this easy. Like as Sebastian, like I couldn't go to school without inducing myself to throw up or like trying to get different ways to get out of school. You heard her right. Hannah was born Sebastian. There is much, much more to come. There's no end in sight. How deep are we into this transgender thing, she poses. On the surface, the transgender package, which is assortment of gender identities, to many still resembles a fringe movement or a passing fad. So lots of folks have been duped into thinking the purpose of it all is to grant equal rights to a minority, minority demographic. But it's really about changing the language and redefining us all. Now I'll be 70 in September. I'll be gone for long. But you young people in here in your teen years and your 20s and your 30s, if the Lord doesn't come back soon and catch us, you're about to face something that you can't even imagine. So it's... I am Nano, 7 years old. I have been killed my whole life. I found out that I was killed when I was 16 years old. Hi. I'm Todd. Many of you may know me. Um, I'm one of the owners of Tykables. They're exactly what they say on the sign, the diaper authority. And that means that they have a million things and it's run by nice people. And they even have diapers with aminos on them. Anyway, Barkley came because it's an open house. So we're gonna go explore. So come on in with us. Let me just ask you the question in, in simple terms again, because you've sent mixed signals over the years. Are you an African-American woman? I identify as black. You identify as black. Let me put a picture up of you in your early 20s, though. 
And when you see this picture, is this an African-American woman or is that a Caucasian woman? I would say that visibly she would be identified as, as white by people who see her. But at the time, were you identifying yourself as African-American? In that picture, during that time, no. Your parents were asked this question this week and they didn't have any trouble answering it. Here's what they said. She's clearly our birth daughter and we're clearly Caucasian. That's just a fact. Your father went on to say she's a very talented woman doing work she believes in. Why can't she do that as a Caucasian woman, which is what she is? At home in Warsaw, West Midlands, Max plays with cars and dolls. And he is encouraged to wear trousers and dresses. But if he wanted to wear the dress, let him wear the dress. If he likes pink, he likes pink. If he likes blue, he likes blue. It's, it's down to him. Lisa and Martin's parenting techniques may not be for everyone, but they're hoping it will give Max a good grounding in life. Lovely to see you both. Thank you very much indeed uh, for, for coming in today. Um, uh, uh, why? Well, it uh, means a bit being able to escape from life, uh, get away from the sort of day-to-day -day, uh, busyness that you sort of live in, and just have a chance to chill and relax and have fun with the sort of simple things of life like a chew toy or today. Bottom line, there are the people up here that are making the laws, that are sitting at the judge, that are sitting behind the bench. The people that are doing all of that are the very people perpetrating this stuff on you. So what hope do you have except in the second coming? Amen. <laughs> have word prayer and we'll, we'll let you go. Second, even so, come Lord Jesus, come. Get us out of here. <laughs> yes, ma'am. They will be judged too. They will be judged. And all men will be judged according. No, uh, they'll be judged. They'll be judged. They'll be judged. Brother Van Caldwell, dismiss us, please.